Hi, I'm Mikey. Welcome back to another very first SketchUp tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create soft ambient interior shadows using the very sun for your interior renderings. Let's get to it. Okay, now we're back into the SketchUp scene here. Now you can see you have this simple space, this room that I modeled and I just put a very large window here so that I can have light coming in. So if you take a look at my various settings here, all my settings are on default. If I go to my sunlight, all my settings are on default. It's back to the filter, intensity is at one, size multiplier is at one. So what I'm going to do is going to create, have a scene already for the inside. And we want to get a render view for this view. So I'm going to turn on my save frame so I can have an idea of what the render is going to look like in here. And very most important for this, I'm going to adjust my shadows. Because if you can see now, I have my shadows coming in. This is going to give me a preview of what my shadows are going to look like with the various sun. So I can tweak this using the time moderator and also the month moderator for the day and the time of shadow that I want. I can also come over to the outline, to the default tree under shadows and I can edit it to maybe a specific date, specific time zone that you want to use depending on your location or something like that. But I'm going to leave it at the default because I really like these long shadows here. Maybe I'll just extend it a bit to make it a bit longer. Okay, so now I'm going to make Let's start an interactive render to see what our light looks like with the default settings. Okay, our interactive render has started up now, and as you can see, we have really, really sharp shadows. The light is not that interesting yet, still a bit pale, and the shadows are really sharp, almost as if I painted this part of the floor white. What I want to do is I want to get rid of all these sharp edges because naturally as the light goes into the space it kind of gets blurrier as it goes this line cannot remain as sharp as it is from this up set here so what i'm going to do i'm going to stop this interactive render right now i'm going to go into my settings and into the v-ray sun settings so now you can see here we have a very very sharp shadow into this space so the only simple trick you need to do you need to come down to this size multiplier and this affects the visible size of the sun. This includes the appearance of the sun disk and as well as the blurriness of the sun shadows. So, I mean, if we change this value, we're going to be sure we're going to have blurry shadows. So, if I keep this at 10, you can see here it's gotten a bit blurry. It's getting has gotten blurrier than the previous setting. I'm going to leave the intensity at 1. I'm going to leave the color mode as filter also. And every other thing, I'm going to leave them at default. What I'm going to change is the size multiplier at 10. So that means if we go back to our interactive render, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to be sure that we're going to have blurrier shadows coming into this space. Okay, our interactive render has started up and you can see that the pixels now are more spread out. And more spread out. Also this point here. Also, I'm going to increase the interior exposure of this render so you can get a better view of what the inside is looking like. We may burn out the picture, but we'll have the highlight burn setting to bring that down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just wait for this to render once with the sun shadow with the blurriness at with the sun intensity at uh 10 and i'm going to leave it to render with the size multiplier at one so i'm going to leave have a render with this at one i'm going to have a render with that at 10 so we can take a look at that so a quick bucket render it's counted by progressive I don't want it, yeah, let's denoise it a bit so that the image will be clear for you guys. Okay, we call it yeah, medium. I'm going to leave it to render. And then, 
okay our render is done and we can take a look at this we've seen how we've gotten our sharp shadows you can see how sharp these pixels are even from this distance and getting to the end here normally the variation actually very is really good it's actually calculating that the farther the light travels the blurrier the shadows get but it's also giving us that blurriness of shadows that we want depending on your location either you have uh an overcast kind of lighting or you want to get overcast kind of lighting soft kind of lighting not lighting like this harsh and this sharp this may work in like a mountainous region kind of render like the render you're looking at right now but in other kind of lighting you may want something with a softer shadow so this is what we give you this is what you get if you have your sun size multiplier at one so what i'm going to do i'm going to save this in my history I'm going to mark it as A. And I'm going to re-render this view, but I'm going to increase my sum multiplier by 10. And let's take a look at what this gives us. Okay, so now this is what it looks like with the sun intensity at one. Now I'm going to pull up a comparison with the previous render that we did. First, I'm going to save this as our type B. Let me put this into the frame. This image also is pretty cool. You okay, know, it's not. And then what we have here is our first image. This is at the size multiplier at one, and this is it at twelve. Now, point of interest is in the shadows here. Every other lighting change, even on the reflections. The reflections also change. If we can take a look here. I see that here we have a very sharp shadow and then here I have something blurry, something diminishing almost. So you can clearly see how this is going to help in creating all the soft interior shadows, you don't want harsh lighting on your furniture or your carpet or your tables or something like that, all those soft shadows that you can get in your renderings. And that's going to be all for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching this video, if you found this video really helpful, you can leave a like and also share to your friends and your colleagues who really have fun with this and also learn a lot from watching this and if you want to keep on learning more you can hit that subscribe button we'll be posting new content uh, as much as i can and also you can connect, get connected with me on instagram at ik inc you can see i post a lot of design works that i get there and also updates on my youtube tutorials so you can get connected with me with there and also, I recently opened a Patreon account. I really appreciate you guys' support on that. You can check it. The link is on my banner, my IK Patreon. The link is also in the description of the video. If you want to take it and to give me a hand and also see what you can gain also in that. And also, most importantly, you guys can also subscribe if you like the content of this video. So, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.